Well, the excitement for the total solar eclipse is building as people all around the country are preparing to watch the moon completely eclipse the sun. We purchased uh, eclipse glasses, which we've been giving away uh, in droves to uh, local schools. Now, it happens Monday morning with many viewing parties scheduled to take place. CBS 13's Carlos Correa is in Stockton for us tonight, where one group says it has already seen the benefits from the eclipse. Yeah, members of Stockton's Astronomical Society say they are getting the opportunity to share their passion of astronomy with more people than ever before, and they're using Monday's eclipse to educate the community. With the 2017 total solar eclipse fast approaching, members of the Stockton Astronomical Society are making sure each of their telescopes are ready to go for Monday's big event. And for that path to go clear across the United States is a uh, fairly rare event. The society was started back in 1950 by a Stockton surgeon who was also a prominent amateur astronomer. Society leaders say club interest didn't start picking up until people started learning of the eclipse's path this year. Much more. We purchased uh, eclipse glasses, which we've been giving away uh, uh, in droves to uh, local schools. This is uh, 10... 1042, maybe? No, 1030. Besides eclipse shades and telescopes with hydrogen alpha filter, the society has a picture of what people here in Stockton will experience from first contact to last. So they're actually going to watch from, from beginning to end. They're watching the moon move that way, but at the same time, the sun looks like it's moving this way. The best part of Monday's eclipse, members say, is getting the chance to create solar filters for their telescopes, which is the same material used on those special glasses. It's blocking off 99.9999, I think, percent of all visible light and, and ultraviolet and so forth. And the society will be hosting a big viewing party on the campus of Delta College on Monday morning, and everyone is invited. They're also providing these eclipse glasses to watch the entire action. Back to you. Carlos, thanks. Of course, we've been talking about this for weeks now. For the first time since 1979, the U.S. will get a glimpse of a total solar eclipse. 38 years ago, Walter Cronkite was anchoring the CBS Evening News. The 